Laura Secord Secondary School's new musical opens this Thursday. The Source dropped in for their first dress rehearsal as they were practicing some of their bigger production numbers with director and drama teacher Paige Filardo. This show is really about three women who um, just really want to be heard, seen and respected by their boss and uh, the other men that they work with in the office. And really, despite their individual efforts, they're not seeing much change happen. Uh, so they realize throughout the course of the show that um, there is a lot of strength and power in community. And if they just work as a team, they can kind of fight against some of the societal structures that are impacting their opportunities. The three leads and the male lead, they've all brought a lot of experience to this play, which is something you don't always see in a high school production. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think that our school in particular just offers so many opportunities for our students and um, some of our students also have opportunities outside of the school as well. So um, we just really do have such a passionate uh, group of students who really are just so committed uh, to the performing arts. So it's, yeah, it's been a real pleasure to work with them and, and see them grow and, and thrive in this environment. Grade 12 student Ella Jamal plays a character originally embodied by Dolly Parton in the 1980 film that the musical is based on. She's this mid-twenties Texas country girl and she always likes being all glam and bold but everyone in the office kind of looks down on her because they all think that she is in cahoots with the boss. Which she's not, she has a lovely husband and she's very loyal and she's a very sweet girl but because of that she's seen as this promiscuous girl who should not be befriended and she lives a kind of sad life at the office and she's not really sure why but she always keeps her cheery bright attitude and never changes who she is. Tell me about the music in this play. There's one famous song that we know about. Do you have a lot of the lead parts in those songs? Well. What's really awesome about this show is that it's three leading ladies. So there's nine to five, obviously, which is the big opening number of this show. And everyone kind of gets a little turn to sing in that. And the way that the three ladies in the show get to carry the songs throughout, it's pretty even, which is, which is really nice. But I, I like that I do get to sing a lot of the more fun country riffs. Grade 11 student Catherine Dubois' character was originally played by Lily Tomlin. So I play a character named Violet and she's like a 40-something year old woman who works in an office with a very sexist boss. And she's basically just trying to navigate her way through the late 70s and try to get the power and like respect that she deserves in this time. That's really what this play is all about. It's empowerment of women and fighting against the way they were kept down and you know kept from advancing in the business world. Yeah, it is. Um, there's three of us, and we all kind of go at it a different way. Uh, personally, I've been at the company for 15 years, and I really haven't advanced in any way. So for her, it's more of like feeling she deserves something. And the other girls, they both have kind of different struggles, but they, we all come at it kind of at the same perspective and come together and try to work our way forward. Ella, Catherine, and the third lead, Leah Hyatt, who plays Judy, have all been involved with Yellow Door Theatre Project outside of school. Hyatt, only in grade nine, sings some of the more emotional numbers in the musical. Another Yellow Door Theatre Project alumnus, Liam Marriott, takes on one of the male roles. Yeah, it's, it's really uh, time consuming, but uh, it's, it's something I'm passionate enough about that I, I want to continue doing this. And, and I think, you know, just that drive and energy, you know, keeps me going despite, you know, the, the sleepless nights and, and rehearsals that are so long, you just feel like you live at, live at the school. So it's, it's really something that I, I love to do, though, and I think everyone else here can attest to that and agree with. So. That's kind of my process. Working.